This, this video is going to show me what to do if I'm adding three fractions, fractions together. together. So, so I have a half, half plus, plus one fourth plus one sixth. Since, since I have three fractions, the nice cross multiply way does not work. So I'm going back to good old faithful LCM. I'm counting by twos over here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Counting by fours. Four, eight, twelve. I'm going to stop there because I see I got twelve in both of those lines and an eight in both lines. Six, twelve. There we go. The lowest number I have in all three lines is a 12. So I'm going to change all three fractions to get a 12 for my denominator. I tried to leave a little bit of room. So for the 2, I had to take the 2 times 6 to get it to be a 12. So I'm going to take the 1 times 6 equals 6. 1 fourth, I need to take the 4 times 3 to get it to be a 12. So I'm going to take the 1 times 3 and get three twelfths. I had to take the six times two, and to be fair, since I took the bottom times two, I'm taking the top times two. So my new problem is six twelfths plus three twelfths plus two twelfths. And to do this, I just add all of my numerators. Six plus three is nine, plus two more is eleven. And denominator was twelve all the way across. That's what it's staying. Eleven twelfths. And I don't need to simplify anything there. Try, Try one, one more here. here. Counting, Counting by, by twos, two, four, six, eight, ten. By threes, three, six, nine, twelve. By sixes, six, as far as I need to go. I'm changing, changing them all to sixes. I don't need to do anything with five, six, because it already has a six for the denominator. So I'm just changing my two thirds and my one half. Two needs to be multiplied times three to get six. So I'm taking the one times three equals three, six. 3 times 1 equals 6 times 2. If I take the bottom times 2, i got to take the top times 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. So now I have 3, 6 plus 4, 6 plus 5, 6. 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 5 more equals 12. The denominator doesn't do dearly. It stays as a 6. 12, 6. We have an improper fraction, so I need to divide. 12, 6 really means 12 divided by 6. It goes 2 times. There's no, no remainder, remainder, so my answer is just a big old two. So, so if you had half a pizza and two-thirds of a pizza and five-sixths of a pizza and you put it all together, you would have two whole pizzas. Here's your problem. Stop the video and try it out. All right, remember we were starting with LCM. I'm counting by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Counting by fours. Four, eight. 12, 16, 20. I see that I have two 20s, and I already know that when I count by twos, I'm going to say every even number, right? So eventually, I'm going to get to 20 over there, and that's my lowest one. So I'm going to change all of my denominators to 20ths. So the 5, I had to take times 4. So I'm taking the 1 times 4 equals 4 20ths. The 4, I have to take times 5, so I'm taking the 3 times 5 equals 15. The 2 is times 10, so I'm taking the 1 times 10. So now I have 4 20ths plus 15 20ths plus 10 20ths. I'm going to add them all up. I'm starting with my big numbers first this time. 10 plus 15 is 25, plus 4 equals 29. Denominator don't do diddly, so it's still 20. I've got an improper fraction, so I need to divide. How many 20s in 29? Those one time. I've got one remainder 9. Remember, he's coming over here under there because my denominator don't do diddly. It's still going to be my denominator, even when I make my mixed number. So I have 1 and 9 20ths. I'm going to do one example for you here. What if I'm finding the perimeter? of a shape. shape. Perimeter, Perimeter means all, all the way, way around, around, right? So, so I, I need to add up all of the sides. sides. Problem is, is my denominators aren't the same. same. I, could I could do LCM to change them. Since, since there's, there's only two, I could also do the cross multiply way. way. So, so I think that's what I want to do. do. I'm, I'm going to change the three-fourths and one-half, both of them, so, so I get a common denominator. So I'm doing cross multiply. Let me switch over to a different 
cover here. Four, four times, times two is eight. eight. So, so I'm changing both, both denominators to eight. Three, three times, times two is six. six. One, one times four, four is four. four. So, so I've changed my three fourths. Four. It's not three fourths. It is now six eighths. Eight. And, and if the top is six eighths of a mile, the bottom is six eighths of a mile. And, and right here, here I just changed my one half to four eighths. So this is now four eighths. And if this side of the rectangle is four eighths, this side of the rectangle is four eighths. If I add them all up now, I'm adding four eighths plus four eighths plus six eighths plus six eighths. And if I add them all together, I'm going to have four plus four is eight plus six is fourteen plus six is twenty. 20 over 8. Some people may have noticed, hey, I can do 6 plus 4 is 10, and 6 plus 4 is 10, right? It also gets me to 20. 20 over 8 is an improper fraction, so I'm going to divide how many 8s in 20. This time it's 2. Remember, most of the time before it had, been, it had only been 1, but we were adding 1, 2, 3, 4 fractions together, so I could have had something all the way up to a 4. 2 times 8 is 16. When I subtract, i got a 4 left. 2 and 4 eighths. 4 and 8 are both even. In fact, they're both multiples of 4, so I can divide by 4, and I'm going to end up with 2 and a half miles. So if your track was 3 fourths of a mile on one side and a half on the other side, it would take 2 and a half miles to go all the way around. Here's one for you to try out. Again, I want to change both of my fractions using the cross-multiply method. So 3 times 8 is 24. 1 times 8 is 8. 5 times 3 is 15. So 1 third, this one became 8 24ths on both sides. And the 5 8 became 15 24ths. Now, now I'm just going to add them all together. together. I, I already know my denominator is going to be 24, right? right? So, so I'm taking 15 plus 15, that gets me 30. 8 plus this 8, 16. 30 plus 16, I'm at 46. 46, 24, so it's an improper fraction. I'm going to need to divide. Oh, it only goes one time. And I end up with 22 left over. Remember, I'm bringing him over. So I'm at 1 and 22, 24. Both parts of my fraction are even, so I can divide by 2. And now that would go to 11 and 12. So, and don't forget, he's coming over in front of there still. So my final answer is 1 and 11 twelfths miles. Last one for you to try out. Again, cross-multiply to get my new fractions. So I have denominators the same. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. So the 1 half, the long side, is 5 tenths of a mile. The short side, 1 fifth, is 2 tenths of a mile. If this side is 2 tenths, that side's 2 tenths. And if the top is 5 tenths, the bottom is 5 tenths. I know my denominator is already going to be 10. And let's add them up. I got 5 plus 5, that would be 10, and I got 2 plus 2, 4, 14 over 10, 14 tenths. Divide it out, it goes one time. I got 4 for a remainder, so I'm at 1 and 4 tenths. My fraction part of the mixed number, they're both even, so I can divide by 2. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Remember the whole number part comes right back over in front of it. So overall I have 1 and 2 fifths miles. And that's how I added 3 fractions or more. We were really adding 4 fractions when we did the perimeter.